about radio. Hi guys, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the hammer to uh, my uh, advanced signal generator as uh, I find the um, tuning control very very twitchy I'll show you I'm on uh, range E which is uh, 300 uh, to 1000 uh, kilocycle uh, so a sort of IF frequency range and you see there I've got uh, 450 kilohertz and it's actually 450 uh, decimal 75 and the very slightest touch of this dial and uh, it's, it's very very difficult to actually get it uh, to uh, a precise figure not that I need to be precise um, but uh, if I wanted to set it to 450 I can't get it to exactly 450 that's the dial there and I'll show you uh, what's on the back of that And you'll see there's these, uh, it's uh, like two washers and they pinch that uh, plastic disc and that plastic disc there has got the numbers on the, the other side. It's uh, a very well made unit this, I've uh, been here before and they see all these screws I've got to take off to get into the oscillator section. This is what I get for my trouble. This is the, the main tuning capacitor. So as I turn the uh, uh, the knob here, um, so that's there, and that capacitor, the variable capacitor there, C1, and it's got that little beehive trimmer, C2, uh, at the side. There, that's the uh, the beehive trimmer. So. Uh, that's the uh, the trimmer C2 and if we look at uh, C1 on here C1 on the parts list is a 528 uh, Plessy single gang capacitor but C2 they've got listed as a wire trimmer and uh, what a wire trimmer is that would be a gimmick and I've talked about uh, gimmicks uh, in a, an earlier video uh, about capacitors but Anyway, what I'm going to do, this is the, uh, the only variable capacitor I've got that's um, going to be suitable for doing anything with, I think. So I'm going to look at fitting that in somewhere, and then I'll, uh, I'll pull off uh, plates if I need to, if it's, uh, if it's a bit over savage. Because of the way the signal generator is constructed with this uh, sort of uh, enclosed box with the, the oscillator in, um, uh, it makes it very difficult to mount this capacitor. I, I was hoping to mount it somewhere here, but uh, the uh, the dial there is in the way there, and here I haven't got enough room to physically get it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this here somewhere, and um, I shall bring a wire off the top of this capacitor through the box, through the screen box, and to my capacitor there. Uh, the um, uh, fixed vanes of the capacitor are grounded so I can uh, fix this uh, to uh, to the case uh, no problem, I've got no isolation problems there. Um, it will, uh, even when it's on, uh, disengaged, it will influence the frequency and unfortunately this little beehive trimmer looks as though it's almost fully dis disengaged. Um, if that was fully engaged uh, then that would have meant I could have taken some capacitance out. But I'll see what it does to the overall calibration. So that's got the capacitor in place there. And uh, because of this sort of well, this indentation in the uh, case, uh, I had to put a spacer in there. But uh, that's, uh, that's worked out okay there. What I did here was uh, set the, the plate so as they uh, fully engaged there and then I put the knob on and that way when I have it there that'll be like the zero position 
and that means that now the plates are disengaged. So uh, as I move it to the left or right, I'll be engaging capacitance. Really, what I ought to do is actually um, sort of uh, jury rig the capacitor in and try it and uh, do all of these good things. But um, <laughs> I, I tend not to do what I ought to do. I do what I want to do. By the way, what I've done here is uh, I've arranged to keep the wire away from the metal. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a little mouse hole here. That's uh, the little mouse hole. I've kept the hole fairly large so that I'm not increasing the capacitance any more than I need to. Okay, so all of the... Uh, hammering and banging is uh, done um, so we'll, we'll fire it up and see what we get. Just out of interest I, I wonder what you think because I'm doing this live and I don't know what I'm going to get myself but I, I think it'll uh, it'll pull the frequency down a little bit but uh, not much but I ain't going to put a number on that so uh, it'll be interesting but you'll see it as I see it. I've put the uh uh, signal generator back in place on the on the other bench here and I've managed to tease it uh, with its main control uh, to 450 kilohertz uh, give or take you see just uh, the last digit twitching away there very difficult to get it to there and so at the moment I haven't got this new capacitor coupled I'm just going to couple that in and see if I can do that without electrocuting myself So in actual fact you'll get to see it before me. Right, that's making contact now. So that's gone to uh, 44462. Um, so very, very close. Actually the dial here says just over four, um, 450. So 450 on the dial is it. So it's made not a lot of difference. I've got the capacitor, I hope I'm getting this. I've got the capacitor there disengaged. Um, let's put some in and see what we get. Oh, that feels nice. Of course, that's bringing it down. So uh, I'm adding capacitance, so that'll bring it down. So what I need to do then is set this slightly high. So I'll set the main control to, uh, let's go to there, uh, for uh, 453 and then as I add capacitance oh yes that's uh, yes still twitchy I might yeah look at that 400 <laughs> 450 kilohertz I don't think I've ever seen that at 450 kilohertz before um, Oh, so that's uh, okay I'd say that I've achieved what I wanted to achieve uh, what I do need to do is put the uh, screening can back on and make sure that's okay um, I've got um, uh, almost half of the capacitance engaged there and uh, that's made a difference there of um, uh, 360 uh, kilohertz so I could afford to whip one of those off if I wanted to. If I put all of the capacitance in, it's gone down from 450 kilohertz down to 43, uh, 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 443. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that. In fact, I'm tickled pink. You you wouldn't believe how long I've <laughs> struggled uh, with this wretched thing. Um, so I've just got to remember to add more capacitance to bring the frequency down. Look at that. That's, uh, for me, that's as good as it's going to get. Having said that, I might just whip one of those plates off. I've got the cover back on there. Uh, I just wanted to protect those coils. Those are very delicate, very fine wires. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whip off this top plate um, uh, so it, this is likely to be soldered and uh, crimped so what I'm going to do in the first place is put some solder on to hopefully uh, wet it out uh, 
and then uh, I'm going to be awfully brutal trying to reach around the tripod and uh, grab hold of that with a pair of pliers there you go and that's uh, that's reduced the capacitance by uh, a fifth one two three four yeah by one fifth um, I'm very tempted to whip another one off um, oh by the way what I did do I tried the higher frequencies and um, as you would expect that bit of capacitance uh, really pulls it uh, around um, so uh, I suppose what I ought to do is put it on the lowest frequency band and see that it gives me enough movement there I just uh, checked it out on the um, signal generator again and uh, I can I can easily afford to take another uh, plate off here so uh, I'm, I'm going to do that and uh, then that's that's going to be it I think uh, I'm very pleased uh, at the way that's uh, shaped up so I can usually mess with these things until I uh, wreck them completely Oh, just as you get a, a final appreciation for what I've done there uh, I've got uh, three moving plates here and uh, I might arrange some sort of little screening around here uh, the guys that designed it have gone to such lengths to keep the RF in the box I'm set on uh, E uh, which is um, the uh, 300 to uh, 1000 kilohertz so uh, you remember hopefully how I uh, struggled before I shall put a zero there and then that'll be up in frequency and that'll be down in frequency so zero plus and minus so I'll, I'll see if I can find some letter set if, uh, if I've got any somewhere and then the idea is that uh, if I want to go to 450 kilohertz um, I'll tune this to uh, near enough, uh, if I'll go a little bit more. Okay, so um, 447, uh, so I want to go up in frequency, uh, 448, 449. Hey, look at that. Um, I've never been able to use this thing with such ease, um, and uh, so that's gone to 450 kilohertz. <laughs> They're almost fully disengaged. Um, and then uh, going the other way, so maximum capacitance, that's put it to uh, 444 kilohertz. So if I uh, wanted 470 kilohertz, which um, uh, is a, another uh, frequency that I should be using there, there. okay, so 471, and uh, I want to uh, lower that frequency, so I go down there. Oh man, that's that's so easy. Um, I'm worrying about the last uh, the last uh, <laughs> digit now. Um, that is such a difference you wouldn't believe it. Okay, uh, so let's go and have a look at something like range B, uh, ten to thirty. So let's go and find uh, twenty megahertz. So it should be somewhere around there. Um, I will set that at zero. Um, so okay that's 19.99 uh, we go up in frequency um, down a little bit yeah it's a little bit twitchy there um, but 20 decimal zero 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 <laughs> one okay it's teetering there um, you you can't believe <laughs> how much uh, uh, joy I'm going to get from that now I say I've been struggling with that for uh, longer than I can remember, but because uh, I'm what I'm setting out to do, I thought it would be worth doing. Uh, up in up in frequency, uh, twenty point two. Down in frequency, nineteen point seven five. Uh, job worthwhile. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.